Um, so um, I have my gadget here. Um, it, it looks like um, an old phone um, that goes <laughs> along with my BlackBerry, but it's, it's actually not. Um, so, so for those of you who know, I have a company called 23andMe, and 23andMe was all about the empowerment of crowdsourcing information for health purposes. And, um, you know, genetics is a big part of it, but it's all was started really because we all want to live healthier, longer lives. And as much as we would like to effectively treat something like type 2 diabetes, I'd just rather not have it, period. If I asked Walt, would you rather have it or not have it, you'd probably just not right. want it. <laughs> so if I ask people in the room, how many of you eat organic? Raise your hand. Okay, a lot of you. And you have no idea if it's actually beneficial for you. So it's controversial. We think it is. There's not really great data to prove that. So one of the things that I'm also really interested in is what is it that starts to go into your body? And I did something called the body burden test, where I was tested for 85 various chemicals known to be semi-toxic or hypothesized to be toxic. And uh, I was found to have a lot of these chemicals. And um, I was actually the highest in fire retardants. Um, and there's a lot of jokes that go with this. <laughs> um, but I was, uh, they, they came to me and they're like, oh, you must fly a lot in coach. And this is when I was on Wall Street and I said, yes, in fact, I do. And they're like, oh, well, it's covered in, uh, cloth seats are covered in fire retardants and you're absorbing a ton of it in the air and you absorb more from cloth than you do from leather. So, um, so this really got me interested in knowing what is my environment. So um, that led me to buy this. So what I'm else gonna turn it on here. And what else were you high in? And what other things were elevated? Uh, I, was mo I was high in mercury because I ate actually a lot of tuna fish sandwiches. And um, I, and like, so I cut out all tuna and then I was really high in fire retardants and a few other, um, <laughs> A few other chemicals, but fire retardants, I was off the charts. There was about 20 of us that did it, like Sergey and Larry and Salar and others, and I was just like way off, and so it made me so feel like... So you bought that thing that looks like it comes out of, you know, lost in space. Right? Yeah, so, um, so I bought this, and this measures the volatile organic compounds in your environment. And um, I bought this around the time that I was also buying a new car. And so I showed up with this, I take this out of my bag, and I walked into the Mercedes dealership, and I said, I need to measure your car. And, um, How thrilled were the Germans at this? And it, was very, it was very high, so I actually was like, there's no way I'm buying this car. Like, your, your VOC is like, it's covered in this. And actually, I was just, because of this, this meeting, I, I started testing. The, the Tesla was actually quite low. I was very pleased. Um, but we all want to know what's in your environment. And so I started going around and testing, and we started realizing things like we had this one couch in 23andMe that was really high. So what do we do? We put it in the lobby. And so no. <laughs> For all the guests. So Wait, and, all the and, <laughs> and it begs the question, that's the FDA couch? That is. <laughs> I'm just saying, when visitors come, sometimes we let them sit there longer than others. <laughs> Depending how much we want them Hello, to absorb. Hello, Jones from the <laughs> FDA. Oh, have a seat. <laughs> yes. Um, but I also started testing people today in the office. So I started walking around and testing, and I discovered that the research team area actually had very few VOCs, and our kitchen and the customer service team had much higher VOCs. So that got me to start testing people, and I discovered <laughs> that people who wear a lot of deodorant have very high VOCs. Um, so, so, and people who have a lot of hairspray in their hair also have very high VOCs. So um, I propose that we test Kara and Walt and actually see who <laughs> has just say, higher uh, VOCs can I, here. Can I, just, test me too. You can test. Okay. can I just say the hairspray thing is not fair? <laughs> <laughs> um, so I just need your armpit. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, so, oh, hold on a sec. Am I fire retardant? <laughs> uh, we'll see. Hold on, I, I pressed the wrong button. Oh. oh, I have to go through all the... I have to say, this thing could use a little user interface work. <laughs> what kind of review would okay. I give it? All right. Hmm. <laughs> 
to go through all the thing again. Oh no. I think she's rigging it right now. <laughs> <laughs> to make sure that you are. Uh, that I have more bad whatever it okay. is than Kara. That's what's going on. And what are VOCs? I have to power it down again. Uh oh. Uh oh. So there was someone who actually uh, tested so high in the office today that they uh, set off the alarms. How many VOCs are there that this can find? So this tests about uh, my understanding. I was trying to really understand the definition of all these things, but it was about 15 or so. My understanding of that, but and not all. And that's the challenge. Then I went home and I actually spent a lot of time. I was sticking this poor thing in the shampoo, the face lotion, the, the, the toothpaste, um, and I was like, my face soap was just, which is labeled all organic and natural, et cetera. All these things that have smells are just really full of VOCs. And then after I actually started reading it um, about this online, I didn't realize this was actually a major issue for the EPA. So um, there was actually a major soap or you know, antiperspirant company recently that just had fines um, where there are actually people, they must have like college grads that are hired to go into all the drugstores, buy all the deodorants, and then test them for how many VOCs are in it. And someone actually exceeded the federal limits. All right. so, are we ready for my test? Yes. So. No pain yet. No pain, it's coming. Oh, so, uh, all right, you're registering about 500 parts per billion. Is that good? Is that good, uh, bad? That's actually, no, that's not deodorant. You're not wearing deodorant. <laughs> 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 all right. Well, let's see what the background in this room you are, is. You are incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> well, your deodorant's not very fragrant. Well, that, that could be. Okay, okay. Kara. Uh-oh. You too don't seem to have very, actually maybe it's the sweater is yes, hard to cash, penetrate. Yes, cashmere covers a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, you two are not very. Uh, Would you like to? Yeah, uh, let's go under. Can uh, I go under yeah, that? Yeah, all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, no, it's good. Okay, Susan. Okay. All right. Okay. Are you wearing deodorant? No. Yeah, no, you're not. The background on this room, I have to say, is pretty high. Just make note for next year. No, you also are actually pretty good. All right. Let me test good. you again, your other arm. <laughs> I feel like I wasn't really getting really up close there. I'm getting a little scared where that pointy thing <laughs> Yeah, I mean, out. like, do you have an MD? What is this? It has a, well, I mean, so this is part of the point of, like, some of the things When someone that, says, let me test oh, you no, again. Oh, no, so now you're going up higher. So now you're hitting almost 600. So that means there's... Anyone else, Mom? Oh, no. I'm partially... Your, your own mother? <laughs> or maybe your hair. Your hair, because you might have something. Oh, you're actually high. Uh -huh. you're, you're hitting... You're going to hit... Uh, let's see. You dry clean. 800. <laughs> 750. I like how she went from testing the chemicals to discussing people's... <laughs> well, I think hygiene. what's interesting is that so people wait, do... So what's the, if yes? you find out about this stuff and mm -hmm. with that device... So, uh, device that will not give you friends. Um, yeah, see what, what, I am. what can you do about it? Just well, knowing about so it? Well, so you can change your purchasing habits. So for me, like one of the big aspects that this, this impacted is like one, it just it helped me dictate like what kind of car. And so when I got a car, then I would actually scrub it with vinegar to get all the, like all the smells out. <laughs> yeah, and but then you could actually you see that it was gone. a car that didn't have a lot of this in it, right? No, I mean, that's actually true. That's one of the benefits of buying used. And so for <laughs> furniture, you actually, like, I test everything. So that's why I had brought this in recently, because we reupholstered re something in the company, and then I was testing, and it is actually much higher again. So we put it in a different... So you, old things are better, because they're... Old things are invented. better, because the, there's more, the chemicals have come out of it. Except so that's the possible the stains and other things are also not so great, right? The stains, Just the stains happy. and the old things? Yeah, yeah okay. I try, try what? Like, depends on whether or not... Depends now, on what the stain is. what if is. you have old... Like ten-year-old Chinese baby pajamas that, <laughs> they, that the uh, government has banned. There's a lot of pajamas from China with fire retardants in them. Right. So those don't really wash out. Those don't wash out. Not well. You want to be tested? Well, uh, <laughs> 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 so 
I mean, for me, it's a question, like, from the crowdsourcing perspective, is there is that question, what does it mean and what do you do? But if you can imagine that you had a community of millions and millions of people who were all posting that, like, oh, this is actually what my average daily exposure is, you could start to have those correlations. So if you look on the EPA website, there's all kinds of data about people who have the skin allergies, asthma, other kinds of issues, and it is associated with high VOC levels. So again, there's not a lot of data, but the same amount of data that there is really out there about organic, I think you have about VOCs, it's not a regulated industry. So for instance, it's not put on, like it never, none of the ingredients would be actually in my shampoo or in my, in any kind of antiperspirant, but now you can actually test it. So. What do you call that device? Um, this How much is does it the, cost? Uh, it's the Ray Plus, R-A-E Plus. What? The Ray Plus what? Uh, uh, VOC monitor. <laughs> and how much does that cost? Uh, a couple years ago, it was a couple thousand dollars. But they definitely make, I mean, so this is more of like a group, you don't need to necessarily test all the time. So this was a group purchase. We used to share it among everybody. Um, but they're definitely cheaper now. And they're the same one also for the um, sort of when you want to look for large particles and small particles. So for instance, I just redid the house. And you can now actually get these very cheap small ones that are in every room and they measure the amount of particles in your environment. So small and large. And they have specific measures the EPA puts out what are the guidelines that you want it to be at. But so I would say they might want an industrial designer to look at that. This is not, that. this reminds me of a lot of healthcare products. <laughs> like it is, someone could work on yeah. this design element for sure. Okay. That's what I got for you. Thank you, that was cool. fantastic. So, uh, oh. yeah. We're not gonna die. <laughs> not today. Yeah, not today. All right.